Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Hello. Are you ready for your walk then? Come on then. You could go for a walk. Are you making sure she's up? Come on. Up you go. I'm coming. Come on then. Down you go. Let's go. Oh, you're full of drama this morning. And every morning. I'm about to go swimming. I tried to go swimming twice a week and I do actually need to get more swimming costumes. This one I bought um, and then I used it to make a pattern for the pink one. This is my swimming costume. <laughs> this is the swimming bag that I made. How cute is this fabric? It's like watercolour watercolour flowers and I've got my pin badges on of <laughs> key. It's still some available on the website. Um I've got a little pocket here and on the back and then I've got a little inside pocket which is where I put my money to pay for swimming and then I use a waterproof spray on the inside of the bag um so that it repels the wet. It's got nice long straps so I can go over my shoulder. So this is what I wear when I go swimming. And somebody's gonna complain. I'm sorry, I won't be too long. It only takes me half an hour to do 14 laps and then I will be back, okay? I'll get you a treat. These are my new shoes. How cool are they? I love the, um, the split colour. I won't be too long. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. I've just done 16 laps. I normally do 14, but I did them so much quicker this time that I thought I could do a couple extra. Good evening. Hello. How are you got hiccups? Hi. You guys smell like swimming pool. And did you miss me? Hi. Hi. I missed you too. Oh, you got hiccups. You gonna come downstairs? Get one in. I need to go for a wee day. And um, this is what my bum looks like after swimming. Very wet on the back. <laughs> and um, kind of scraggly. These little bits are <laughs> very scraggly. I've got an exciting appointment today. Also kind of nervous <laughs> about it. Um, and it's something I talked about back in December when I was making my New Year's resolutions and yes it is September <laughs> admittedly um, I did try and book it earlier and then I had to change the booking and it was like a month in a, um, a month later from when I booked it so it was quite a, a wait a waiting list to get the appointment but uh, I'm going to the orthodontist to talk about getting braces. When I was a child, I had my top teeth straightened because my canines were sort of forward slightly. So I had them fixed. But on my bottom, I was meant to get my bottom teeth done as well. Um, but I have a really bad gag reflex and I, I almost threw up the first time when I had the moulds taken of my top teeth. So when it came to get my bottom teeth done, I chickened out. I didn't want to have to go through having the moulds taken again because of that stuff and ugh. I didn't I didn't want to go through it again so I didn't have them straightened and I have this little bit here this tooth here which sticks in slightly and this always bothered me because I can feel it against my tongue um, it's just a little bit crowded I had two teeth taken out of the top when I had my braces then because there was too many teeth um, and not enough room for them so I'd had those to taken out. There's no gap there. There's, it completely closed up. I imagine I'd need to have something, a one or two teeth taken out of the bottom to make room, but I don't know. I'll find out when I go for my consultation, which is what's today. It's just the consultation. 
um, and they can do, I'm hoping that they, they do, the mould, it's not a physical mould, they take a scan of your mouth instead so you don't have to have that putty put in your mouth to mould your teeth. So I think that's part of the consultation, that they will scan my teeth um, and then we'll discuss what I need to have done. If you're supposed to continue to wear a retainer after you have braces because your teeth will continue to move, but I didn't. I had recurring dreams that I was still wearing it, but I didn't wear it. <laughs> so my top teeth have moved slightly. Um, so I'd imagine I'll have top and bottom and then you can have them wired together, I think. One of the things we'll be discussing and whether or not I should have Invisalign, which I don't think would work for my teeth because of the wiring um, or uh, I, we always called it train tracks, I don't know what the, the technical term for the wired braces are. Off to the orthodontist. Um, I feel bad because I'm leaving Key at home alone again. It's twice today, which I don't normally do. don't normally leave, leave him at all. Um, in a day, usually he's coming with me wherever I'm going. Uh, but he can't come to the orthodontist with me because he'd be sat too long in the car. No idea how long my appointment is. Um, probably won't vlog anything. I'm self-conscious enough as it is vlogging when people are near me so um, I'll try and film something in there just so you can see I'm in the orthodontist but uh, I'm not gonna actually film anything that happens in there because I don't have the guts to ask them if I can vlog my appointment. And I don't think I can do that. I'll see you when I get back from the orthodontist or you might see me a little bit in the orthodontist, maybe? I don't know. I need to stop to the orthodontist, I won't be too long. This will probably be the only footage of me in the orthodontist. <laughs> 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 me waiting for the orthodontist in the car. A bit of graffiti. And obviously in time we'll try to build up to, you know, more hours. I'm just going to pop your photos on and get your exercise out. Give me anything else away. That is again just literally filming my face. I'm so mm -hmm. awkward trying to vlog that I just don't do it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I've had a scan done. There's scans over there. And I've had photos taken. Um, and now we're going to discuss my options. Hello again, I'm back again. I won't go out again today, I promise. You stretchy boy. Hi. Yeah, I don't smell like poor this time. I smell like dentist. Orthodontist. Hi. Hi, big smiler. Hi. Oh. Yeah, hi. I missed you too. I'm going to go change my shorts. Right. It was a 45 minute... Oh, God, I keep laughing. It was a 45 minute appointment and I started off by having a chat and then she had a poke around at my teeth and I noted down all of what my teeth are doing. <laughs> then they did a full scan, which is what they do instead of taking moulds. <laughs> so glad they don't do that anymore. So it's this um, long bulky camera thing which they put in my mouth and scan all the way around my teeth. So they have a visual 3D model of my teeth. Then they did an x-ray, full head x-ray, so instead of having those horrible hard things that you put in wherever you want to take an x-ray you have to have your head on this your chin on this little thing and then they have something for you to bite on and then you hold on with your hands and then this thing spins around your head to x-ray your whole jaw I guess I had to take my earrings and my necklace off for it and then after that they took some photographs of my face from different angles um, of my teeth mouth open mouth closed and stuff um, and then we had another chat and she discussed my options, she showed me what the projected change to my teeth will be after the braces. Um, she said that I'd be better off with 
fixed brace rather than Invisalign, which I kind of assumed would be the case. Top and bottom, because although I have had my top teeth straightened, they have still moved because I didn't wear a retainer, um, which I'm meant to do forever. <laughs> uh, so the top teeth need to kind of move with the bottom teeth. I also discovered, new insecurity unlocked, that my bottom teeth are not centred, so my top teeth, that up there, that's in the centre, but the centre of my incisors on my bottom teeth is off to the left, so um, that needs to be shifted to the middle so that I've got like a proper centre line. Um, to do it, I would have to have a tooth taken out, which is actually the thing I'd be most concerned about is having a tooth out and having a gap. That's what scares me about it. So they take out just one, um, a premolar, um, just behind my canine, and then that would give enough room to shift my teeth to the correct position. And also, what I didn't realise is that a normal bite, your top teeth will sit a couple millimetres in front of your back, of your bottom teeth, whereas mine are like this. Um, and she said that over time that's bad because you can chip away at your incisors um, and in order for it to be um, a correct bite it needs to be slightly over and the, the only part that's meant to contact is your molars in the back, not your incisors in the front. I think that kid's... Um, <laughs> there's a kid flying a drone outside and I think it's landed in the garden again. Yeah, he's landed in the garden again. Oh dear. <laughs> he, uh, we were just on our way back and he rang the doorbell and I spoke to him through the doorbell and yeah, I <laughs> asked him if I could help and he said, my drone fell in the garden, can I have a look for it? I said, I'll be back in in five minutes and I'll have a look for you. Um, and he apologised and said, um, and I said thank you for asking instead of just roaming around the garden. <laughs> but he's just done it again. Mom's gone out to you. Yeah. Find it. Um, he said it's his first time flying it, so he's getting the hang of it. Just a little drone. So yeah, that's my teeth. It's time for lunch. Key's belly's going to be grumbling. Mine is. Um, so yeah, I've been given the quote. It's um, I have the basic quotes. I don't know. So they showed me the different types of fixed liners, um, and I I like the ones that are gold. They can get ones that are clear, but I actually prefer the look of the ones that are golden coloured. So I don't know if that's a slightly higher price than the base price. But in the booklet, for up and top and bottom arches is three thousand two hundred pound. Um, so that's what I'm looking at as a baseline for how much it will cost to get the, the braces done plus having the tooth extracted at the dentist which I'm not looking forward to I really don't <laughs> I don't want to have a gap she said that it needs to be I think seven to ten days before you get the braces so I'd have like a week and a half with a gap in my bottom teeth I haven't had a, a gap in my teeth since I had my top braces as a early teenager and I had the um, two premolars taken out in order to make space for my teeth to go straight so I haven't had any tooth extractions, tooth issues um, and I'm a bit scared to have a gap. It, it, it feels weird and wrong to take out a healthy tooth but I know in order to move them into the position it needs to because I've got a wisdom tooth back here which is obviously pushing my teeth forward as well. I've got two full wisdom teeth up here, which is again why my top teeth were too crowded. They came through pretty early. This one is going that way. <laughs> that wisdom teeth not even come out of the gum yet. But then this one is partially out. So I know it needs to come out. But I need to convince myself that I can cope with that. People that have had a tooth out, can you set me at ease? <laughs> that is that is okay. Especially when you're having the, the teeth move to fill the gap. She showed me what it would look like and there'll be no gap once the teeth have moved. But obviously it's 18 months worth of treatment. I don't know how long it would take for the teeth to move into space, into the place to fill the gap. 
um, hopefully not 18 months, <laughs> shouldn't do. Um, and she did say once the wire's in there, I won't really notice the gap. But yeah, it's just the idea of having a tooth out. That bit doesn't worry me as much because I have had a tooth out and I didn't feel it happen. But it's just the having a gap that's concerning me. Not even visually because you don't really see my bottom teeth when I talk. It's just my tongue being able to feel a gap there. That's that's the bit that worries me. Me being able to feel a gap in my teeth, and getting food in there and stuff. I'll be all right. I've got time to think. I should have it done because it bothers me. Especially now that I know that my bottom teeth are not centered, <laughs> um, and that over time I could end up chipping my incisors because they touch and they shouldn't. <sighs> I need to go get some lunch.